I'm Mike Huckman at the BioBuzz Center, and I'm pleased to welcome Jennifer Dent, who is president of BioVentures for Global Health. Jennifer, thanks for being here. Thanks very much for having me, Mike. So for those who have never heard of BioVentures for Global Health, or BVGH for short, what is your organization? What's its mission? What's its vision? So Mike, BVGH was actually founded by Bio um, in 2004, and we were founded to engage bio companies in partnerships and programs that would address global health challenges. And specifically, you're announcing a new initiative here at this year's convention. We are. This convention is, is really a, a milestone for our organization. We're launching a new program called the African Access Initiative, and it's focusing on engaging some of the leading biotechnology pharmaceutical companies that have oncology pipelines in making their medicines available to patients in Africa and helping to build the capacity so those medicines can be delivered to patients in Africa. Now Jennifer, typically what has been the case is when it comes to biopharmaceutical companies and the life sciences sector providing assistance to places like Africa, it's about vaccines and then usually about antivirals and these are typically done in emergency situations. But you're trying to break that mold. Mm -hmm. Well, Mike, we've actually launched also a, a white paper on the African cancer crisis today well, as we've launched our program. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the disease landscape in Africa is changing. Cancer is now killing 60% more people every year than malaria is. So non-communicable diseases. That's extremely diseases. counterintuitive. I mean, I don't think most people would. Well, ever most guess people that. don't know that. I mean, most people. That's a shocking statistic. And when Jim Greenwood, the president of Bio, you know, heard that, he he kind of said, "That's an amazing statistic." Mm -hmm. And breast cancer, in particular, has a much higher incidence rate and much more poor prognosis than it does here in the States. It does. Example. We have Dr. Funmi Olapede here with us today. She is a leading cancer geneticist, breast cancer researcher, and she's been studying breast cancer in the African population. And one of the things that she said was, when African women are diagnosed with breast cancer, they have no hope. Let's go deeper than the statistics, though. You've been there. You've, you've seen it on the ground. What is cancer care like in Africa? versus what most of us are accustomed to here in the United States? Well, cancer in Africa is nothing like what we're used to seeing here in the United States. It's, I mean, it's really, it is a crisis. It's a devastating, catastrophic situation. I mean, patients present very late in their disease. There's a stigma associated with cancer. And like back in the day when people here used to whisper the word? Absolutely. We heard today some people don't even, in some African languages, they don't even have a word for cancer. Wow. And you're not talking about doing the stereotypical thing. Provide us with free medicine or discounted medicine. You're trying to build a whole infrastructure and ecosystem. That's right. I mean, we're moving away from the donation model. I mean, if we want truly sustainable access to cancer medicines and true partnerships with companies to help build the capacity to deliver cancer medicines, I mean, companies need to think corporately about the African continent. And so we're building partnerships and, and, and business models around looking at the African continent, the patient population, companies are decreasing prices significantly, but still making money on their cancer medicines. So Jennifer, what does BioVentures for Global Health need? What is your call to action to the member companies here at the Bio Convention? Well, we have some companies, Mike, that are on board of the African Access Initiative right now, but we need more because we need all of the oncology companies to become part of this partnership to help build the capacity and make their medicines available to patients in Africa. The theme of this year's convention is breakthrough. Jennifer Dent, from where you stand, breakthrough to what? Breakthrough to implementing new partnerships in Africa and new business models that will get bio companies, oncology, innovations and medicines to patients everywhere in Africa. That is Jennifer Dent, the president of BioVentures for Global Health here at the BioBuzz Center.